On November 18, 2024, Ukraine's defense minister, Rustam Yumarov, made a significant announcement regarding the country's missile production capabilities. According to Yumarov, Ukraine had successfully produced its first 100 missiles of 2024, marking a key milestone in the nation's defense industry. The serial production of the R-360 Neptune cruise missile has been notably scaled up, with upgrades made to extend its range, allowing for strikes on targets at even longer distances. These developments come as part of a broader plan to strengthen Ukraine's missile defense, with President Volodymyr Zelensky's goal of producing 3,000 cruise missiles by 2025. The discussions between Yumarov and missile manufacturers outline strategic directions for the industry's future growth. The R-360 Neptune missile, developed by Ukraine's Luch Design Bureau, has been in active service since 2021. Based on the Soviet-era KH-35 missile design, the Neptune is highly effective against a range of naval targets, including large vessels like cruisers, destroyers, and landing ships, weighing up to 5,000 tons. The missile system includes various components such as mobile command posts, RKP-360, launchers, USBU-360, and transport and reloading vehicles, TZM-360. Initially mounted on KRAZ chassis, these components are now deployed on Checkmate Tatra T815-7 trucks for greater mobility and durability in the field. The ARP-360 Neptune measures 5.05 meters in length and weighs 870 kilograms. Its 150-kilogram warhead is capable of delivering significant damage to enemy targets, while the missile's range of 300 kilometers has recently been extended to 400 kilometers due to upgrades. Future plans aim to extend its reach to 1,000 kilometers. The system is designed for mobility, enabling rapid deployment up to 25 kilometers inland, where it can become operational within just 15 minutes at a new location. Its active radar homing and low-altitude flight path help avoid detection by enemy radar, and its programmable route can navigate around defensive countermeasures. One of the most notable uses of the Neptune system was on April 13, 2022, when it successfully struck and sank the Russian cruiser Moskva, the flagship of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. This was the first wartime loss of a Russian flagship since the Russo-Japanese War of 1905, highlighting the missile's formidable capabilities. Following this event, the Russian Black Sea Fleet altered its naval operations, adopting a more defensive posture to protect against future missile attacks. Ukraine has also developed a land attack version of the Neptune, which features enhanced capabilities, including a heavier 350-kilogram warhead and preloaded target data. This modified version was used in several significant operations, including the destruction of a Russian S-400 air defense system in Crimea in August 2023 and a successful strike on an ammunition depot at Chelino Military Airfield in Russia in July 2024. These actions underscore the versatility of the Neptune missile, expanding its utility beyond maritime targets. International interest in the Neptune system has been growing as well. Romania has expressed intentions to collaborate with Ukraine on missile production, enhancing mutual defense capabilities in the Black Sea region. Estonia has also shown interest in acquiring the Neptune for its coastal defense strategy. These partnerships could further increase production capacity and strengthen the overall defense infrastructure in the region. Looking ahead, Ukraine is exploring additional developments for the Neptune system, including the adaptation of the missile for deployment on aircraft with the sub 24 m being identified as a potential platform. There are also ongoing discussions about creating new naval platforms to launch the Neptune, while some of its components have already contributed to other projects, such as the Sokil 300 unmanned aerial vehicle. In conclusion, the R-360 Neptune system's advancements and Ukraine's commitment to increasing missile production reflect the nation's growing capabilities in both defensive and offensive operations. As international partnerships strengthen and production scales up, Ukraine's missile program is poised to become a critical component of its national security strategy in the years to come.